The Breakfast Club, and we have a special guest with us this morning. That's right, Mr. Jason Derulo. What's happening? Good morning, sir. Good morning. I just got to tell you, I, I lost my voice. Okay, you know what I'm saying so. My voice is a little, <laughs> a little under the weather. But you were screaming, getting chased down by a bunch of women. What happened? <laughs> nah, you know, it's it's just being so go 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 with you know the release of the album and everything. So, um, that's why I actually uh, didn't make it yesterday because I was on a flight. Um, from L.A. Okay. No sleep, you know what I'm saying? Working hard. Yeah, getting it in. Well, I'm glad you made it this morning, man. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so when you don't have no voice, is it easy not to, like, accept calls from your girlfriend? <laughs> like, I couldn't pick up because I can't talk. Nah, nah, she, she'd be like, uh, you better Skype me or something. <laughs> <laughs> Put the phone under the bed, let's see who's in the room. Well, for real, for real. <laughs> she, did, well, if you don't know Jason Derulo, dates Jordan Sparks. I'm sure everybody knows that. Yeah, yeah. She, she'd be on you like that? Like, you know, take, FaceTime the whole room, go up under the bed, in the mm, closet? Nah, nah, she's not really like that, man. Um, Personally, I, I mean, I would really wouldn't be into that. You know what I'm saying? You know, you gotta you gotta have a little bit of trust. For mm -hmm. Now, you guys talk dirty all the time, I assume. Yeah, Since we have to. Since you're always traveling and she's always traveling and working and working on movies and everything. 100%. You you have to keep things like, you know what I'm saying, nice and steamy because you, you travel in the world, but you, know, you got to keep things right. So you guys have phone sex? <laughs> yeah. Um, so, you know, we, got, we, got, we got Skype now. You know oh, what I'm okay. So, so you get naked. Are you scared to like pull your stuff out on the Skype just in case somebody hacks in and next thing you know, you here's know Jason Derulo's penis? I never, I never really think about that. Mm -hmm. Nah, I mean, we, we just make it happen. Do you ever record it just for insurance purposes? <laughs> in case she wants to leave you someday and you, you have those? Have it on file. You have those just in case? Nah. Screenshot it. Nah. <laughs> but Skype is an amazing thing, man. I mean, we ain't had that, you know, 10 years ago. So, you know, Skype, FaceTime, all that stuff, man, it keeps things going. Nice. Yeah, it makes a long distance relationship or two very busy people feel very connected. It also gets yeah. a lot of people caught out there if you're into that. <laughs> now, did, did anybody at your label ever say, Jason, I don't think you should go public with your relationship because, you know, you got to have the perception that you, women can still have you? Um, nah. Nah. Nah, they, they, they don't tell me stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? We, we, uh, we keep it all Jason Derulo. If it's, if it's not me, then, you know what I'm saying, it's not going to happen. Or. Yeah. Now, what about you two working in the studio together and uh, doing a song together and all of that? What's that? What's the chemistry like in there? You know what? At the beginning, actually, it was it was kind of it was kind of sticky. You know what I'm saying? You, kind of sticky. Whoa, okay, Whoa. talk dirty. <laughs> sticky in the studio. <laughs> all right, Not like that. You know, it, like you kind of run into little problems because you know you and you in there with your with your lover, so she's not really trying to worry about your feelings at all. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? She's gonna tell you how it is, and she, you know, usually when you're in the studio with somebody, they try to tiptoe around so you know what I'm saying everybody feels kind of comfortable nah she, she she you know not really trying to worry about me feeling comfortable at all so um it took a little while to to get things going but we did like six songs to make sure that we had the perfect song for the album and you the said song, you did 300 songs all together all together yeah yeah That's a lot of music is it any truth to the rumor you used to write for Birdman and Wayne yeah, uh, hooks. Oh, okay, hooks. okay. Um, I would say Birdman lyrics are terrible. I don't know if you want to take credit for those. Nah, nah, come on, man. So uh, for, for them, I did for Diddy. Uh, so I actually started songwriting in the hip-hop circuit first. So you just wrote hooks for Diddy, too? Yeah. Because his lyrics are terrible as well. You don't want to take credit for those. Like, what are some things you wrote? Like, shut up, bitch, swallow or... <laughs> 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 nah, it was it was just, it was just the it was just the, like the catchy hook parts. Oh, okay. Yeah, now yeah. also with your with your first single, Talk Dirty, it seems like you went a little more urban this time around. Usually right. you you on the pop charts, you on the hey, rhythmic charts. This time, it. you went the urban <laughs> way. Don't do it, Jason. Why, why was that? Don't do um, it. Usually when a pop star does that, it's because they went to an urban club and they didn't like they the ain't fact that no their love, music wasn't playing. No DJ they got shouted no you out. <laughs> you Don't worry what? about what these think. You know what, man? Honestly, like. You got. You got to. After you reach a certain point, you got to realize that um, you rule your career and you you kind of manage. You know what's popular in music. You know what I'm saying? Like, if today I go a little more urban, that doesn't mean it won't play on the pop charts. I mean, you know, this week Talk Dirty is number one on the pop charts. Mm -hmm. and, like, if it's good music, man, it should be able to be played everywhere. Um, but right now, my the headspace that I'm in, you know, it's just basically people knowing who Jason Derulo is. When I was making this album. I was, I was in the studio not because I was, you know, had I had a deadline or I had an album release date or anything like that. I was in the studio because I broke my neck, right. and I needed broke your neck. How did you break your neck? Yeah, <laughs> I, was, I was preparing for my world tour. And, yeah, and I slipped during the back tuck and broke my neck. So yeah, I hate it was. When that happens. It was <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hate when I just break my neck. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, so I was on on hiatus. So I needed, you know, what I'm saying to get myself out of this this dark space. So I went into the studio and started making music. So in turn. You know, I wasn't making music for nobody, so it was not like me worrying about 
if this was going to be able to be played on the radio, if that was going to be played on the radio, it was just about me making music for myself. Um, and this is what came out. You know, I wanted it to just be me. I wish they would get rid of, like, terms for uh, different classifications of music. Like, you look at urban radio. Why can't Happy play on an urban station? Yeah. Or why can't Rihanna records play on an urban station? Because they're labeled pop. That's real. You know? And vice versa. But yeah. they do play. I mean, now, yeah, now yeah. you know, now you hear more. Now you hear Dark Horse on urban radio. You didn't, you wouldn't have heard that four years ago. Just mm -hmm. lose a Katy Perry record. It's, it's, it's starting to, it's starting to switch up, you know. And I think pop music is starting to switch up too. Like, it, pop music is starting to, you know, have a little, little urban swag to it. I didn't even know you was black, you know. Back in like '09, when that "What You Say" came out, I heard that a lot. Yeah, I was like, "What? Jason Derulo's black?" Yeah. <laughs> I heard that a lot. And not just black. He's a. I'm a. Mm. Yeah, you already know. <laughs> oh, we can say that. Yes, we yeah. can say. That. Oh, okay. You can you can say that? Oh, see, I a straight hood dude oh, from okay. Florida. Yeah, man. You Haitian, right? Haitian, yeah. See. Yeah. What does that mean? Yeah, what does that mean? Does that mean Zo? Do you mean Zo? Zo. 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 <laughs> okay, what you know about that? That's man? the only words he knows. That's, that's it. the only thing he knows. <laughs> me how I know about that? Someone that, that works with us is Haitian, and he's that's no, all he knows. No. No. That's all he hey. knows. That's all he knows. I got shooters too. Tell us something <laughs> else. Haitian. Tell us another phrase. <laughs> yeah. Tell me. Sock passe. Yeah, man. <laughs> he knows the curses. He, I'm sure he knows the curses. <laughs> Now, of course, everybody's always been asking you about, you know, you getting married. I know you wrote the song "Marry Me," and mm. you said you're not ready now because you are still pretty young. Yeah. But do you see an age for yourself getting married? Like, okay, by the time I'm 30, or you know what? I, I don't really see an age at all. I think it's just waiting for that perfect time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, like, just when when everything is aligned perfectly, um, that that time will be. I actually wrote the song saying that. Um, you know, we we got we got time. Like, what, what what's our rush? Mm -hmm. You know, that's the reason why I actually wrote the song. But most people think it's a it's a um, proposal, but it's not. It looks like you got a ring on right now. It's on the ring finger and everything. Mm, uh, nah, <laughs> that excuse don't work for you and Jordan Sparks though, because I what? mean, y'all got money, y'all mm -hmm. got great careers. Mm -hmm. Like, y'all really have no reason not to get married. I mean, but check it. Look, look where I'm at right now. Look, look I'm I'm in New York right now. She's in L.A. right now. You know okay, what I'm, I'm preparing. I'm preparing a you know launching a world tour. Like it's a lot going on, you know what I'm saying? So like you got you you need focused attention too. Yeah. There's always gonna be a lot I just, going on. I just on got for you both. with that. You see, I just I just you can tell that that's, that's exactly what that, he said to Jordan. If, if I was Jordan, I'd hold off for another year or so All with that right, line. On, you no, man. but you know what? He treats us <laughs> he actually treats it very well. You do a lot of romantic things. I do, I that, do. Yeah, we always hear you know, about what you do. But she me. makes me that way, honestly. She she really does. I, I wasn't like that before, but you, you were know, a I dog, went I went yeah. I went into the flower shop. I was like, I'm gonna take it easy for Valentine's Day. I seen all the flowers in there, and I was like, wow, I take them all. Um, and then I, I had them uh, ship it to the hotel. I didn't have 10,000 flowers. Yeah, I didn't have them ship it to the house, though, because that would have been a crazy cleanup. So I did it at the hotel. Oh, y'all lived together? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. How much, how much was 10,000 flowers? I'm just curious. You got a discount, oh, man, like 10% off? Like that. They did give me a nice, <laughs> a nice discount. Um, but they gave it to me for like 50 Okay. 50 Sheesh. what? Not $50. 50000 Yeah, 50000 $50, You should have just bought her a Prius or something, man. Yeah, you bought her a BMW. I, I, I bought, bought her a BMW, BMW for Christmas, right? Yeah. 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 What, what, what about the stuff that it, she gets you? It wasn't a 3 Series, right? Nah, it, what, what's the what's the big joint? The um, LI? Seven, he don't even know yeah. what he bought. Seven, 750 Damn. He don't even know what he bought. That's nice. <laughs> that pop money different, man. <laughs> yes. That pop money different, It's Jay. world money, man. It's world money. Now, Jeremiah, is that your brother? Nah. Uh, <laughs> why everybody keeps saying that? I don't that? know. Where did that come you know from? what? It's on Wikipedia, and for some reason. Everybody like, believes that. Yeah, every time we take it down, somebody puts it back up. Oh, so All my Wikipedia me. information is wrong. I'm a gardener. Wrong. I'm a yeah. gardener. <laughs> Who got put on in a basement. By a word. DJ named DJ Clue. Yeah, I, yeah. Oh, word. Yes. We, we ch I change it every day, but now I'm a waffle color Negro. That is true. Oh. Who's a gardener? Well, some of that. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> now, now, coming from the hoods of uh, Miami, Florida, being mm -hmm. Haitian, do they ever try to get you to do anything uh, gangster? Um, Why you say gangster man, like that? <laughs> you know what, man? Uh, you talking about growing up? Yeah, or even now, like, oh, you, 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 you gotta ever do anything to try to keep it real. Just go do a drive by. I mean, you don't <laughs> gotta do that, man. Once you reach a certain point, man. I mean, you, you, you get yourself out of the street. I mean, I, like, if if people knew where I was from, like, they would be shocked. They have no idea where I'm from. If you was a rapper, you could tell that background, but nobody yeah, cares. Yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't really matter. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It right. really, it really doesn't matter where I'm from. Like. Honestly, like where where I feel like you know I'm headed in life, man. That that shit doesn't really you know play a part you know in my life at all. Or, but you know what I'm saying. You you gotta have, um, 
people set up in the right places so that you know like you never have any problems you know what i'm saying so you just got to have things set up right are you a pit bull cool because it seemed like and, and, you know pit, and floor rider really because all of y'all got similar backgrounds coming from the hood but now y'all like these big pop stars you communicate mm -hmm. with them i do yeah yeah um we from the same place uh me and pit bull actually pit bull jumped on a record like long before anybody knew who i was long before i was even writing for uh for people mm -hmm. he just jumped on a on a record on gp Mm -hmm. Um, so I, I, you know, I always had love for, uh, for Pitbull. Yeah. But he's on the, actually on the Target version of the Talk Dirty album. So if you want to go get that song, you got to go to Target. That's when you know you're a different kind of star when you got Target versions. Absolutely. That's Target interesting. So you've been putting out like an album every year. Oh yeah. yeah it's, it's been, um, it's been, it's been good. You know, I talked this, this album, especially though, I'm, I'm really proud of this one. This is my best work thus far. Whose hands are those all over your bare chest? And you just refuse to put a shirt on, on the cover. front cover and back cover. <laughs> Uh, somebody said that to me the other day. I was like, "Just yeah. F the guys that might want to buy you." You're album, actually huh? right. You get the iTunes version. You don't gotta look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Whose hands are those on you, though? This is actually a hand model. Um, a <laughs> hand model. Yeah, for the single, uh, it was actually Jordan's hands, and mm -hmm. I wanted to recreate it, but Jordan she wasn't available, so I had to. You know, she so wasn't available. <laughs> yeah. You couldn't even get your own girlfriend to put the hand, <laughs> put her hands on you. So I was like, "All right, let me get a hand model. Her hands look just like yours. All right, cool, we Gucci." Okay, you could have, yeah, all right. They photoshopped their hands on you. Do y'all make sex tapes and stuff? Nah, man. <laughs> nah. None you, of that? What, you want to be like Mimi? You want to see if she hang from a rod? <laughs> I don't even talk about Mimi when we talk about people that actually have talent and money, okay? Keep that whole out this conversation. All right. Oh, my gosh, you're really harsh with that. Do you guys watch porn together or anything? Um, you, I mean, you got to keep things steaming, so you got to, you know, try new things and make sure that so you're that's a yes. keeping that hot. Have y'all watched Mimi together? No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. How long y'all been together? What is what is Mimi? I, I've been hearing about this. Yeah, it's some <laughs> stuff. Don't worry about it. You just stay in your pop cloud. You just stay in your pop cloud. Don't worry about it. Atlanta. Don't come down and soil yourself with this Do you watch reality TV at all? Um, nah, not really. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I really don't have time to watch TV, but what I do watch, like, I, I'll take, like, a, I go on iTunes and, like, buy whole seasons of joints, and I, mm -hmm. like, I've been, uh, you know, on the, uh, the Breaking Bads and all that. Oh, all right. Breaking Bads, great. How long y'all been together? Uh, three years in August. Oh, yeah, y'all ain't wearing condoms no more. Um, <laughs> she said they didn't use one even the first time. She said that? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, I'm about to say, wow. <laughs> He's like, did she say that? <laughs> no, she was keeping it 100 like that. <laughs> yeah, I was, I, was, I was shocked for a second for real. I was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I need to start watching TV more and get on the internet. For real, for real. So what's next for Mr. Derulo, man, other than the world um, tour? Uh, world tour, uh, you know, the, 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 the album, let me first say about the album, the, uh, I have a bunch of features on here. I've never mm -hmm. done that before. Right. Uh, my next single is called Wiggle. Um, it features Snoop. But uh, we got Tiger on the album. Jordan is on the album. Kid Ink is on the album. Uh, 2 Chains is on the album, as you know. Um, so it's it's a very star-studded album. And uh, uh, I'm really excited because, you know, the side that people have not heard yet um, is the better side of the album. Mm -hmm. You, know you what said saying? you ran into Snoop at a game and asked him to get on a song, and he really did it. Yeah. So, you know, I was... Uh, I was, you know, working on Wiggle, and, you know, I was like, man, it would be dope to get Snoop on this because his, his laid-back vibe would just be perfect on this crazy beat. Um, so I saw him at the All-Star Game. I was like, Snoop, uh, what's happening, man? He was like, yo, what's up, young blood? Mm -hmm. I was like, hey, man. Uh, I, I, Did you I, know who you were? Yeah, yeah. Of okay. He was, like, he was like, my kids are big fans. I was like, oh, dope, that's, that's crazy, man. I, I really want to do a record with you, man. I got this record called Wiggle. He was like, man, just send it to me, man. Just send it to me. So I, I sent it to him, and uh, he uh, hit me up and uh, was like, man, this this is crazy. Uh, I sent it to you within 48 hours, and that's exactly what happened. Wow. That's nice. Uncle Snoop. Yeah. What, is, what is Wiggle about? Wiggle is is uh, Wiggling. Is, is about, uh, you got to hear it, man. It's about uh, big, fat butts making it happen. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> How does Jordan feel about you singing about big, fat He's butts? He's talking about her big, fat butt. Um, she just has an amazing, amazing <laughs> body, man. So, you know, it's it's all good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We appreciate you joining us today. Oh, you already Yeah, and stay away from these Negroes, right now. man. You stay, uh, you stay, you, you, did, you was in the hood, you grew up in the hood, okay? You I stay did, on these pop man. charts. And congratulations on all your success and showing all the guys out there that it is cool to be in a relationship. Oh, I Some appreciate people think it's that. cool to be a bachelor or, you know, swing around, but it's great. And people are starting that. to, like, know, they know your face now, right? Because at one time, your records were probably bigger than you as a person. Yeah, th that was definitely the case. You know, it was definitely where, you know, you knew who... You, you knew that Jason Derulo did this, 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 that, but you don't, you don't even know who Jason Derulo you was. You thought he was white. Yeah, so, you know, it's it's refreshing to know that, um uh you know, Talk Dirty's actually number one this week. Congratulations. Yeah, I appreciate Yay. that. You said yes. that like three times already. I didn't say that. Yes, Stop you did. Lying. No, you I did, man. You did it twice. You did it twice. We get it. You're a big deal. You understand? <laughs> I didn't say that, man. Yes, you did it. No, I didn't say that. You did say that.
Ah, that's you was thinking that in your head. You you didn't know I said it, but it's all right, but one. yeah, it's it's exciting right now, man. We we um we are really making it happen, man. So I appreciate y'all having me for this. Absolutely, show. talk dirty is what number one, right? Number one on yeah. the pop show. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, talk dirty is actually number one. Thanks to go. the fans out there, much love for going out there and supporting it. You feel me? And I uh, shout out to Revolt TV. They, they they doing it big in here. I don't know if y'all know this, but this is not just a red. This is a this is a mother. TV show in we're here. Listen, we're trying to cross over. Good. We're trying to get on the pop charts. Not y'all already on the pop charts. Yeah, yeah right. You know, yeah, I, yeah. I watch y'all show all the time. Nah, seriously, this is entertainment, bro. Word. <laughs> so and you don't I, even I watch TV, so you know we appreciate. Yeah, it. I, I, I right, well, definitely go online. It's the Breakfast Club is Mr. Jason Derulo.